to kind of stay organized as we take this stuff apart. Uh, trying to keep everything kind of labeled so I know, you know, where where these things go, and we we can have an idea of what hardware went to what door. Because the last thing you want to do is try to mix and match the hardware. But anyway, so I started left to right. So T is for top. So T1. And you can see it matches up here, and then eventually we'll have a little sandwich bag uh, for T1 for all of its hardware. And then same thing here, uh, you know, T2, T2, that's T3, so on and so forth. Uh, there's probably better ways to do this. I know people do diagrams, but I didn't have a pad of paper with me, so this is what I got. Um, so then down below, you know, the doors are uh, B1, B2, B3, so on and so forth. And then the drawers, I think I just labeled them D1, D2, D3, since they're only on the bottom anyway. So, yeah, and then we have the ones over in the island as well. Uh, so that's our attempt at organization for this. This is our first time doing any type of home improvement, so, yeah. What I quickly realized was uh, these previous owners actually painted the hardware. Uh, what that probably means is they kept all the doors on... Uh, you know, all the uh, cabinets, and <laughs> they, they took the cheap way out. Um, so they just coated everything, as you can see here. Um, so that's a little bit of a problem because we don't necessarily want to have to buy all new hardware. Um, so we're still trying to figure out what we can do to easily get rid of the paint on the hardware. Um, but one of the things that kind of presented an issue right away was you know, getting some of these especially finer screws out of the wood here, uh, especially when they're just coated and and covered in this paint. Um, all you got to do, uh, and this is probably a no-brainer, but just give it a little bit of pressure um, until the screwdriver finds the, the teeth of the screw, and just start turning a little bit. Um, I actually stripped one head of one of the screws, but... Uh, for the most part, this seems to be working all right. Uh, there might be better ways to do that, but that seems to be working for me. Okay, about two, almost two and a half hours later, I finally have all the doors off and drawers out and hardware removed from all of them. Uh, so, yeah, it's very time consuming. Um, even removed the ones from the island. But, uh,. Yeah, so we got the whole pile here, um, and tomorrow morning we're going to get started with sanding. Uh, we're actually going to sand instead of using the uh, deglosser. I believe it's a deglosser that comes with the uh, Rust-Oleum kit. Um, we're just going to go ahead and sand it. Uh, my dad lent me uh, two different uh, power sanders that he has. Um, so we're going to go to town on that stuff tomorrow, and hopefully we'll have enough time to get the first base coat on. Stay tuned. hear that noise downstairs, but um, Brandon is power sanding the cabinet doors. I'm kind of afraid to go downstairs, but maybe we should. Brandon is finishing uh, sanding the rest of the cabinets. I am actually going to start painting them. What we did, we went to Home Depot and we got this Rust-Oleum Cabinet Transformations Kit. It's apparently supposed to make things way easier. Um, now it says you don't have to sand, but uh, we actually decided to do that um, just because you know we actually have the time to do it, but this is actually supposed to make things a lot easier and faster. Um, what it does have inside, as a first step, if you're not sanding, they have what is called a deglosser, which you use to pretty much um, degloss your cabinets. Um, but we did sand it down, so everything's smooth. And I did um, uh, rinse them with a little bit of uh, soap and water. Um, and they're dried, but I am going to wipe them down once more with a microfiber... Uh, cloth here and just make sure all the the sanding 
stuff is gone, and um, then we'll get started. So what we're going to do is, since we do not need to use the deglosser, we are skipping to step two, which is the bond coat. It's the uh, tint, which will be the uh, federal gray. Um, this whole kit, I think, was a less, uh, less than $100. Um, I want to say it was about $80, and it's supposed to do <clears throat> all of the cabinets. So we're really interested to see if this thing works. You're supposed to do two coats um, on each side, um, but I'm just going to do the one coat now because you have to let it dry. First coat on only four doors. It's gonna take a long time to do this. Our cabinets, um, the previous owners, they painted the hinges on here, so there's actually a technique to try and remove the paint from them. Mm -hmm. 